Xavier Brown, Abraham Lincoln. Seven years. <laughs> Let me set the scene. The smell of boring makes its mark on the hallway. Charging through the ranks of drowsy teens tasked with standardization with such viciousness, you can swear you don't know what freedom smell like anymore. You hear the sounds of feet being shuffled and awkward teens bumping into each other. I smile at everyone I see, cracking off jokes faster than a big black cat firecracker bunch, lighting up the air with lightheartedness. But through careful inspection, you start to pick up all the tiny indiscrepancies. This leads to the alternate image, where you can now clearly see, clearly see what you believe to be years and years of teardrops forming. Forming out of dreams that never will. Teardrops floating on the surface of tragedy Eyes that once sparkled vibrantly, now lie broken and cracked, long collapsed into dark alleys, cornered and trapped under the tremendous pressure of agony. Like a blind man, you start to navigate through the darkness in these lives, feeling every indent, scar, and imperfection on the face of happiness. You learn. You learn of the boy who is only the class clown because he thinks if he puts himself far enough out there and people don't accept him, he can play it off as a joke. You learn of the girl who is only making straight A's because that's what her father would have wanted if he was still alive. We put a lens over ourselves. We only let people see what we want them to. So when I look at this room, all I see is kaleidoscopes colliding on the face and masks, all based on insecurity. <laughs>